Hello everyone, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. It's time for us to die and escape this hellhole. Let's do it! Whee! Um, am I dead? Whee! Wait, what? The hell? How am I alive? As the machine whirred into motion, oh, uh, Stanley was inched closer and closer to his Oh crap. Device. No, 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 no. Reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. No. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Um. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned Does it and no, no. accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow uh, life. Can I get out? Stanley. No, 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 no. I, no, 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 no. Uh. Farewell, Stanley, Bye. cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah! Um. There we go. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. I don't want to do that! What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Um. Oh, what's this? This is new. What? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Uh... Okay? Um... The office. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Five's my favorite. Credits. No, we're not done yet. Ooh, Solitaire. Aww. Oh, come on. Ah, you suck. Um, what's left? Ooh. Maintenance room. Yeah, I remember that. That's a lot of words. Those are big words. War zone? What the? I don't remember that. The hell? Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. Okay, whatever. Whatever you say. Greenlight. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight, Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page had only a series of cryptic photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. Yeah, because we already knew about the game. <laughs> the hell? Final warranty. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh, narrator emails. I don't care. Whatever. We're going to go by too fast for me to read anyway. The Lounge. The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give up give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. I can't open it. So, so are these actually all the endings, or uh, okay. What the hell? Zending? 
This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Uh, okay. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the Zending. The player would pull the lever and the narrator would describe the color of the lever pulled. It doesn't work! You broke it. The game is now paused. Begin the game again and resume the game. Oh, okay, so this is the escape menu. Oh, wait. Uh, first... No, no, it's not. You lied. You lied. Monitor room elevator. Countdown desk. What the hell? How do I get out of here? There's gotta be a way out of here. This place is huge! Narrator outtakes. Uh. Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? Does that sound plausible to you? Okay. This injustice that they call a game. Okay, oh, well, this just brought us around. Okay, so I'm starting to get the layout. Freedom ending! How do you get this? This is the very incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha, which they probably removed because they're asses. Exit! Oh, I didn't even see the sign. Exit, exit, exit. Let's get out of here. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Yes. How they wish to control one another. No, I just want out. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? And I'm out? Can you see how much they need one another? Bull. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh, if I opened my eyes, I could see them. No, 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 no! You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. No. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and we will only choose a choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Don't. Ow. I'm free. Yay. Is that it? We done. Hello? I'm pushing buttons. Can you hear me pushing buttons? I guess that was it. Well, that's the end of this Let's Play. Now, of course not. We know there's more endings. So, like she said, press escape. Begin the game again. Let's do this. Let's follow the instructions this time. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. Wait, what? And if it did, it stopped shortly after. What? Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Wait, what the? Uh, the uh, I... Uh, but I started a new game! The, I don't understand! Um... I hate Mondays. I really do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yeah. he entered the door on his left. Um, is it back to normal now? Yet there was not a single person here no, either. No, of course not. Feeling away, they got the hell sleep, out because they're smart. Stanley decided Ooh, to go closet. up to his boss's office. Hope Stanley stepped into the broom Wait. closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. There's plenty of stuff here. This is all cool. Pick up the broom. Fine. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought it was gonna lock me in. Yeah, yeah, we'll go up. Staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. At least I discovered the broom closet. We'll go this way. Of course. Not. Wait. Hey, let me go in. Why would you do that to a panda? Um, maybe I can just go out the front door? Da, 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 da. Oh! Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Oh yeah. 
This is some good music. Oh, this is a long elevator ride. Hey! No, 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 I'm grooving. You don't groove. Alright, that's enough. Let me out. I hate elevators in this game, I really do. Maybe it's because I'm calling them elevators. Is the proper term lift? I don't know. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, no, I didn't. pulling books off the shelf, what? looking behind paintings, what? desperate for clues to his situation. No, I didn't. But his attention was caught by a keypad yeah. behind the boss's See desk. See right there. What could its purpose be? In fact, this oh. keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age. No, music. no, we already did that. Oh, okay. At least it's different. Wow. Oh yeah. This is good. Ah. Mm. Feeling soothed. And rejuvenated, Stanley ah. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Why, why did the door? Why did the windows close? Um. Hello. Go this way. No. Of course not. That'd be too easy. Down we go. Oh. S sparks aren't good. You know, some music in this elevator. Well, that was fast. Still can't see. I think they'd install some more lights since the last time I was down here. Ahead the large yeah, yeah, shut up. We got it the first time. Wow. This is complex. I have no idea what that says. Well, there's a button. We're gonna push it. It's a bad idea. The lights rose on an Whoa. enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Oh. Did he have the strength to find out? It's not like I haven't been here before. It's a long way down, I assume. Turn on the cameras. All right, well, let's turn them on. Oh. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Whoa. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, it means something. They're just against it. Uh, lift, I guess? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Cool. I mean, no, wait, that's bad. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone Pirate. else's what? control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Well, I guess you'd say that's a distinct possibility. All the endings are accurate. I think we actually did die, and this is hell. But we'll have to find out in the next episode.